Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I hope everything in your world is great. I think I'm zoomed in, but whatever. It's fine. Um, I got a package today from China, and I was expecting a package from China. But when I get home, it's like this big heavy package. This is not what I was expecting. What I was expecting uh, was a shirt that I had ordered a while ago. And it's uh, it was supposed to be here on Monday, so I was like, oh cool, a package from China today. But hold on. This obviously isn't a shirt, this is something stiff, and I forgot what this was. I ordered this like, I don't know, a month ago? It's been a while. So ordering from China takes time, but it's also kind of like Christmas because I forget that I ordered something, and then it shows up and I'm like, the heck is this? So even after I opened it, I'm like looking at it like, what? Maybe they just packaged the wrong thing or I got gypped. No, I forgot I ordered this thing. So I'm excited to have this. Um, this is a knockoff dust cyclone um, because I'm, I'm, I have no money, right? So I needed a dust cyclone. I needed a, a proper dust collection system. And I wanted one of these, but the company that, the, the name brand company that makes these sells them for like around $80. I think this was like 25. And uh, I figured if worst case scenario, it's poorly made and I can fix it, right? But it's a good base to start with for 25 bucks. I was going to, um, it's still sticky. I was going to do like a two bucket cyclone separator. I've seen tons of reviews for the, or tons of, there's tons of videos on how to make a bucket cyclone where you use a bucket with an inlet thing that you make. And then, you know, essentially what this is, is um, vacuum hose goes here, vacuum goes here, sucks, this thing spins the dirt out and falls down out of the bottom, right? I was gonna do this myself, but then I saw um, my friend Ryan from Hubbard's Handmade recently made a cyclone separator with one of these on a big wooden box, meaning that he could put a lot of dirt inside this big wooden box, not just five gallons worth, and it didn't require this flimsy, uh, five gallon bucket setup he built like a nice three quarter inch box with three quarter inch plywood and this on top and i thought that's perfect that's exactly what i want because i would like to build you know i think i recently showed you that i got this vacuum for 20 bucks i would like to build a little thing for this to sit on with the box and this on it that i can wheel around and not have it stationary all the time and um, so the box gives me like the platform to build this thing on so I got this, I think I got it on Amazon actually, and it came from China. Maybe I got it from eBay, I don't remember. I think I saw these on Amazon under tons of different names, but they all had this same, I don't know, dollar sign looking NS sign. I don't know, uh, it stands for Nantong Suning Environmental Protection Technology Company, but it looks like a dollar sign. Um, and I thought, like I said, I thought, well, if, if all else fails, I can use this as a platform to build on, but actually, this thing is super rigid, like way more rigid than I expected it to be. Probably, I don't know, two or, uh, it looks like probably three or four millimeter thick. It's glued together up here. The glue is still a little bit tacky, but that's okay. I can seal it if it if it's leaking. It gives me I can seal it right through here pretty easily, and it looks like it's just a two part mold. One part is this outer shell, the other part is this inner piece that's been glued together. The bottom flange here is warped, but I think uh, maybe a little heat gun on that, and I'll make a gasket for it. Uh, should seal pretty well on whatever I stick it to, and I'll have my nice myself a nice cyclone separator. But anyway, the point is I ordered something from China, it shows up a month later, and it's kind of like Christmas because my, my brain doesn't um, doesn't remember things and <laughs> I forgot that I ordered this. But now I'm really excited to have it. And the funny thing is when I ordered it, I think I went, I ordered it like on a Wednesday and I went and played poker that Friday with some friends and he was talking about his dust separator. And I'm like, I just ordered one of those for like 20 bucks. So very cool. I love, I, I feel guilty when I do stuff like this because it's like, you know, I'm buying from China, not from the U.S., but at the same time, I'm poor. Like, I'm really poor. And so to be able to buy something at such a ridiculous discount is, um, 
monetarily make sense for me. Uh, that's what I have to do to make sense right now. But, you know, hey, we're working on it. We're working on figuring out how my job's gonna look, what my job's gonna look like in the future, and maybe maybe I'll be an entrepreneur. I'm not sure. But we'll see when we get there. Uh, it's Wednesday. I'm gonna go play board games and hang out with my friends. So I'm gonna stop here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my friends. Please give this video a like because you love me. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I wanna ask you something. Today's random fact comes from drivesouthafrica.co.za. What was the original name of Africa? Uh, I'm gonna say this all wrong. Alkabulan is the oldest and the only word of indigenous origin. It was used by the Moors, Nubians, Numidians, Carthaginians, and Ethiopians. Africa, the current misnomer adopted by almost everyone today, was given to this continent by the ancient Greeks and Romans. <laughs>